a child experienced being stripped of her clothes, searched at school by police officers while she was menstru menstruating. It was beyond belief that she was pulled out of an exam and then expected to be fit enough and well enough to return to this exam. But the smell of cannabis is not good grounds for a normal stop and search of an adult. That's child Q. Child Q. Child Q. Child Q. Child Q. They walked into her place of safety at the request of people who were meant to keep her safe, stripped her naked whilst on her period, forced her to remove her sanitary towel, spread her legs apart, her buttock cheeks and cough to look for drugs they never found. We should remember that this comes on top of a string of incidents from the abuse and strip search of Dr Duff, the rapist and murderer Wayne Cousins, the vile racism and misogyny uncovered in, in Charing Cross Station, the brutal handling of the vigil in Clapham Common and the record low confidence in policing, particularly by minoritised communities who are evidence as being over police as citizens and under police as victims. Does the Minister understand that there is no apology which could atone for the perverse racist degradation of this child? Mm. Does the Minister accept that this is not an isolated incident, that between 2016 and 2021 the Met carried out over 9,000 strip searches on children, some younger than 12, and that over 33% of these strip searches were carried out on black people, despite only 13% of Londoners being mm. black? Disappointing that the Home Secretary couldn't be here to respond yeah, yeah, to this yeah, urgent yeah, question yeah, yeah. on what is quite an urgent matter. The disgraceful, abhorrent, sickening strip search of Child Q took place two years ago. The, the revulsion felt by women to hear that a girl has been strip searched at school and had to remove her sanitary towel by the very people that we trust to look after ourselves. And given that the Met and HMIC say that the smell of cannabis is not good grounds for a normal stop and search of an adult... And is the Minister aware that it took the police two full years to apologise? I'm sorry, but I feel like we've woken the Minister from an afternoon nap to come in and make this yeah. statement. Yeah. There is a distinct lack of urgency Absolutely. in his approach. I cannot begin to conceive what that young woman went through um, and how furious her family must be. I'm not sure I would be held responsible for my actions if I were her mother, to be honest. But the Minister says this could have happened to any child and that he thinks of his own relatives. The brutal, difficult truth that many of my constituents have raised with me over the weekend is it's not likely to have happened to any of his relatives or our relatives. It is young black girls who've read this story and are horrified by it and who need us to recognise explicitly the disproportionality in the way in which the police work with them. Over four children a day are subject to this treatment by the Met and black people are strict searched at six times the rate to that of white people. Mr Speaker, it's more than two decades since the McPherson inquiry found institutional racism in the Metropolitan Police. We now look at the figures on stop and search. We now hear this awful story of this young girl and the way she was treated. Constituents like Theresa Atkepi, whose brother was the victim of a hit-and-run accident, but the police, when they attended the body, this was an NHS worker collecting samples, they didn't reach into his pocket and find his ID card, they phoned the Home Office to find out whether he was an illegal immigrant because he was black. If a strip search is undertaken or deemed necessary on a child, then an appropriate adult, a parent or otherwise, has to be present. Uh, that is, they weren't in this case. Uh, they weren't in this case, and the question we have to ask ourselves is why? What went wrong? Why did the officers uh, do what they did? What we need to assure ourselves, or, or to understand, I guess, is whether we have a specific problem or a systemic problem. Uh, the report is indicating we may have systemic problems, and if we do, then obviously we will seek to address them. We also need to work out from the IOPC report, as I say, if the same is true, and if so, then of course we will act. Too. There is work to be done here, there's no doubt about it, and we are determined to do that work.